or two springs, like 2017 springtime um, was when I first really got into 3D printing and prosthetics um, and, you know, building and I think it's the right word is anthropomorphic, where you're building robots or, yeah, robots that resemble human traits. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then I realized that there were a lot of facilities at the Pickering Library that offered, like, amateurs and uh, uh, the, the ability to, like, build these things, um, with, like, 3D printers and um, the knowledge the staff had around here. So that's that's what really kicked things off. Um, and I spent two or three days um, at the library building what would inspire this whole, whole, whole journey afterward. So that led me to think, you know, um, it, it might actually be pretty easy to build something that someone could use as an actual hand. Um, but sort of the missing, the, the, the missing link here was being able to build something that was highly precise and highly functional. Um, so, and, and the way we solved that was putting, by putting a camera in the palm of the hand um, that is able to identify what the object is and the onboard computer will do all the calculations as to what the best grip for that object would be. And then in the end, you're still using the Mayo sensor, just like this one to activate that grip. Uh, what, what we're introducing here is, for example, let's say there's hundreds of thousands of things out there that you would want to interact with, and obviously we can't account for every one of those as much as we'd like to. So what we did was, um, in the app, if you do come across something that the hand doesn't do what something you want it to do, um, you're able to manually adjust your hand and because there are feedback motors in here, it'll remember the way um, you adjust that. And then you can take a picture of the object through the app. Um, so it'll open up the camera on the palm, and you just snap it through the app. And so the next time it comes across an object like that, it'll remember what you want to do with it. Um, and that's what's really cool here because it's, you know, it's not just a hand for everybody, it's, it's your hand.